I think having a student at Georgia Valley Classical Academy has forced me to change the way I think about education from the perspective of a parent. Every parent wants their child to do well in terms of academics, but being a parent here has forced me to really, truly decide what success looks like for our children and what we want their education to look like. Here at TVCA, our students are truly saturated with good character and strong virtue so that when they become adults, they have this incredible foundation to do outstanding things for their, their communities, for their country, for the world. A lot of things get done to a kid in a traditional education system. Say you struggled in math and it's a freshman and you failed your math class. Well then, the next block, what do they do? They double up your math and then they probably give you an intervention so that you can pass a test down the road. Well what happens when that happens is you lose the stuff you love. You lose the art. You lose the welding shop. So the one thing in the world that brought you joy and passion is taken away as an unintended consequence of not being good at math. I was like struggling a lot in school, like I never went, I just didn't feel like there, like that wasn't the place for me. Um, I would just miss, I wouldn't like do my assignments or anything. And so I feel like just being here at Elevate like changed my perspective and learning. What I felt three or four years ago, you know, I, I didn't really have a good look at life, I guess. You know, I just always thought being, you know, the trouble kid or whatever, that's that's what I was gonna be, you know. I had my mind set on, you know, that's me, that's how I grew up, that's how I am now. But ever since I came here, my whole mind changed and everything, and I have a better vision of what I want for myself, and what I can do to better myself for the future. It makes me feel proud. Very proud. Proud of my kid. They um, opened up doors that I don't think he would have had opened had he been in a different school. I think he would have been going to school to get through it, but my son's looking to go to college now, and before that was never even an option for him. He didn't care, but now he does, and it's, uh, it's the best feeling in the world. The best feeling. Teaching at Alturas has helped me understand a lot about the problems that we see as parents and educators. Um, we have a lot of students in our community that I feel like are falling through the cracks. As a teacher, to be in a position where I have the opportunity to help students that otherwise would feel invisible is very empowering. Well, so my teacher last year, Mr. McGrady, really uh, cared about uh, like my standpoint and my anxiety. I had uh, trouble with anxiety with tests and he really fixed that like almost immediately the first day he taught me how to go through it and now I'm like an excellent test taker. This school is way different than my previous schools. The first year it took me probably about a month and a half to get used to it but it is heavily based on group work and working in the community. So at previous schools, you have a bunch of assignments that you do on your own. You usually don't talk with other people as much, but at Alturas, you're constantly working together and you learn a lot more like learning at your level instead of everybody being in one class. I was very skeptical at first and I'm a a big fan of public education, uh, right out on through to higher education. But I think Alturas is, is for me, proven that, that there are probably better ways of going about education, that um, the benefits outweigh the risks. That's really when I started to change my mind, was noticing that my kids were a little happier when, when, I, when I picked them up from school. 
it's their education, right? A lot of times in education, um, we've morphed to the point where decisions are made on what's easiest for adults. We've asked the teachers and the adults in this building to do really hard things that are for the best interests of the students. They come first, you know. Um, when, we're, when we start our planning, our, our projects begin with the kids in mind, you know, what can they do, what do they need, and then we look at what our standards ask that we teach and we try to mix and blend those two things and come to a place where the kid's going to get the best education out of school that they could get. And all that comes from is, you know, planning, preparation, and beginning with the kid in, in, in mind. That stuff really leads to a point where kids, I believe, feel like they are the center of what goes on here. And we want them to. We want them to own this place. We want it to be their place.